Hello and welcome. I'm Chef Chu. I'm going to show you how to properly open a coconut and to extract the baby coconut meat as well as the coconut milk. This is a young coconut. Take a wider look here. That's how it comes. You must have a big heavy knife. That's the most important thing. This is a butcher chopping knife. So first we make a ring of cuts around the top. Don't put your fingers too close. It's already open. <laughs> Alright, and then you get in there with the point and just crack it open. You see, you have that beautiful young coconut. And then over here you have wonderful juice, which I'm going to put into the Vitamix. I've already done two more. So uh, from three coconuts, we have, it looks like about three, three cups of uh, coconut milk liquid. The next phase, what I want to do is get this meat out, because this is the best coconut meat there is. The older brown coconuts, um, the meat is very hard to get out. So you see how, how nice and pliable that is? That will be great. We're making coconut soup. So in order to get the rest of this meat out, I need to get this open. So that's a pretty good whack right there. There we go. And we'll just scoop the rest of that out with our silver spoon, which gets, fits in there very nicely. This one looks really young because it's not fully formed yet. There should be a little bit more thickness to the meat as it gets older. And that's uh, what we would have. This is more of a, a more of a traditional coconut, uh, very hard shell. In order to get these open, there are usually three holes on the bottom. You take a good sized nail or something really sharp and you you can just take a hammer and poke right in there open these two holes and then the milk pours out then what you do is you take this put it in a, a brown paper bag on a cement floor take a huge maybe uh, eight pound sledgehammer and just crack it open inside the bag then you go through the same thing scoop the meat out and that's it here we have the extracted young coconut meat from three young coconuts. And here we have the juice or the milk from three young coconuts. It's about three cups. Now we're going to um, combine these in the Vitamix. And prior to this, I have prepared um, a combination of spices, including six kefir lime leaves without stock red chili flakes, lemon zest, lime zest, two garlic cloves, a stalk of Thai lemongrass, that's what you see mostly on the top there, some galanga root, about two tablespoons, and a tablespoon of fresh ginger. That's all in this, and I'm going to add that to the mix. You can see I pre-ground some of the uh, kefir and so forth prior to this. So at this point, we're going to blend it all together. So this is a Turbo Blend 4500, which only has two speeds. We'll start off on the low speed. All right, now that's the blended coconut meat with the coconut milk and spices to make a wonderful raw coconut soup. At this point, I'm going to taste it and make adjustments. Mmm, pretty darn good, all by itself. At this point, I decided we will correct 
our flavorings a little bit by adding the juice of a lime. And so we're going to juice the lime. Doesn't take a lot. We already have lime zest in the soup, but it wouldn't hurt to give it a little bit more in terms of zest of the juice itself. Now these limes aren't very juicy, but we'll just have to go with it. Now we're also going to add the juice of a lemon. This one has got a lot more juice going for it. And that's a good thing. Okay, at this point, we're going to add a little bit of salt in the form of tamari. Probably just one tablespoon do the trick. Later we're going to add some uh, marinated sliced mushrooms which will be marinated in the organic tamari. And we're going to add a little olive oil as well. Not too much, just a couple tablespoons. Now we're ready for our final blend. Now you could eat it just like that at this stage. Uh, some people would prefer it less um, stringy or less uh, meaty. So what we can do is to strain out the uh, fiber. This is what we use for that. This is called a nut milk strainer bag and it has a little uh, tie at the top. All we need to do is pour the nut milk in here or the uh, coconut milk in this case is about the same and squeeze, we'll just squeeze out the juice into a big bowl and we're basically done. Now we have our nut milk strainer bag. I'm going to add all of this and at this point we just it's sort of like a cow's udder. We're going to just kind of slowly squeeze it and work it till we get most of the liquid out. It's just, I mean, it's just so obvious. It's like a cow's udder. And, you know, it doesn't really matter if this is coconut meal or almond meal mash. You'll get almond milk or any kind of nut milk. Um, it's a fabulous way to, to get a non-dairy product to consume. As I said before, we could consume the coconut soup without doing this, but I found over time that it's a little more enjoyable not to have all the flakes of spices in there and some of the fibers and so forth from the various spices. Um, after this, we'll put it in the refrigerator and let it cool down and let the flavors blend. And uh, an hour or so, we'll be ready to, to have a great fantastic Thai coconut soup and it's totally raw. No cooking involved. This is what's left after squeezing as much of the liquid out as I can get. There might be a little bit more in there but you can see we've got a pretty good amount in the bowl now. So that's our coconut soup except for serving when we serve it, we'll put some sliced mushrooms, maybe some uh, green onions, some tomatoes, stuff like that, and little condiments. It'll make it really sparkle.